Hello and welcome to my new video. Today I will share some of the most amazing books ever written. Today, I'm going to talk about 10 books that are considered to be the best of all time by many people. These books have influenced generations of readers, inspired countless writers, and shaped the course of literature and history. If you haven't read them yet, I highly recommend that you do so because they will enrich your mind and soul with their timeless wisdom, beauty, and creativity. Let's get started. The first book on the list is In Search of Lost Time by Marcel Proust. This is a monumental work of seven volumes that spans the entire life of the narrator, who recalls his childhood, adolescence, and adulthood through his memories of people, places, and events. Proust explores the themes of time, memory, art, love, and society with exquisite prose and psychological insight. This book is widely regarded as one of the greatest achievements in modern literature and a masterpiece of the 20th century. The second book is Ulysses by James Joyce. This is a novel that follows the adventures of Leopold Bloom, a Jewish advertising salesman and Stephen Daedalus, a young aspiring writer, on a single day in Dublin, 16th June 1904. The novel is divided into 18 episodes, each corresponding to a different part of Homer's Odyssey, and each using a different style, technique, and perspective. Joyce experiments with language, form, and symbolism to create a complex and rich portrait of the human condition, and the modern city. Ulysses is considered to be one of the most influential and challenging novels of all time. The third book is Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes. This is a novel that tells the story of Alonso Quixano, a middle-aged man who becomes obsessed with books of chivalry and decides to become a knight errant, calling himself Don Quixote. He sets out on a series of adventures with his faithful squire, Sancho Panja, in search of glory and honor. Along the way, he encounters many characters and situations that test his ideals, his sanity, and his sense of reality. Don Quixote is a hilarious and tragic satire of the romance genre and a profound commentary on the nature of literature and life. It is widely regarded as the first modern novel and one of the greatest works of world literature. The fourth book is 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This is a novel that chronicles the history of the Buendia family and their town of Macondo, from the founding of the town by Jos Arcadio Buendia and his wife Ursula, to the destruction of the town by a hurricane. The novel blends realism and fantasy, history and myth, comedy and tragedy, to create a magical and epic saga of love, war, fate, and family. One Hundred Years of Solitude is a masterpiece of the Latin American literature and the genre of magical realism. It is one of the most popular and acclaimed novels of the 20th century. The fifth book is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is a novel that depicts the life of Jay Gatsby, a mysterious and wealthy man who lives in a lavish mansion on Long Island, and his love for Daisy Buchanan, a beautiful and married woman who lives across the bay. The novel is narrated by Nick Carraway, a young and honest man who is Gatsby's neighbor and friend. The novel portrays the glamour and decadence of the jazz age, the American dream and its corruption, and the tragic consequences of love and ambition. The Great Gatsby is considered to be one of the finest examples of the American novel and one of the most enduring works of the 20th century. The sixth book is Moby Dick by Herman Melville. This is a novel that narrates the voyage of the Pequod a whaling ship commanded by Captain Ahab, who is obsessed with finding and killing a gigantic white whale named Moby Dick, who has maimed and eluded him for years. The novel is told from the perspective of Ishmael, 
a young sailor who joins the crew of the Pequod and who witnesses the drama and the madness of Ahab's quest. The novel explores the themes of obsession, revenge, fate, religion, and nature with a rich and diverse array of characters, symbols, and references. Moby Dick is considered to be one of the greatest and most complex novels of American literature and a classic of the sea adventure genre. The seventh book is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. This is a novel that depicts the lives of several aristocratic families and their involvement in the Napoleonic Wars, especially the invasion of Russia by Napoleon in 1812. The novel follows the characters through their personal and social struggles, their romances and marriages, their spiritual and intellectual growth, and their participation in the historical events that shape their destiny. The novel combines realism and philosophy, history and fiction, to create a vast and epic panorama of the Russian society and the human condition. War and Peace is considered to be one of the most ambitious and comprehensive novels ever written and a masterpiece of the world literature. The eighth book is Hamlet by William Shakespeare. This is a play that tells the story of Hamlet, the Prince of Denmark, who is visited by the ghost of his father, who reveals that he was murdered by his brother Claudius, who has used up the throne and married Hamlet's mother Gertrude. Hamlet is torn between his duty to avenge his father and his hesitation to act, his love for Ophelia and his madness, his loyalty to his friends and his suspicion of them. The play explores the themes of revenge, madness, mortality, and morality with a brilliant and complex use of language, imagery, and drama. Hamlet is considered to be one of the greatest and most influential tragedies of all time and one of Shakespeare's finest works. The ninth book is The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. This is a novel that follows the experiences of Holden Caulfield, a 16-year-old boy who has been expelled from his prep school and decides to wander around New York City for a few days before going home to face his parents. The novel is narrated by Holden in a colloquial and cynical voice as he reflects on his life, his alienation, his relationships, and his search for meaning and authenticity. The novel captures the angst and confusion of adolescence, the phoniness and hypocrisy of the adult world, and the challenges and joys of growing up. The Catcher in the Rye is one of the most popular and controversial novels of the 20th century and a classic of the coming-of-age genre. The tenth and final book on the list is 1984 by George Orwell. This is a novel that depicts a dystopian future where the world is divided into three totalitarian superstates that are constantly at war with each other. The novel focuses on the life of Winston Smith, a low-ranking member of the party that rules Oceania, one of the superstates. Winston works at the Ministry of Truth where he alters historical records to suit the party's propaganda. Winston secretly hates the party and its leader, Big Brother, and dreams of rebelling against the system. He falls in love with Julia, a fellow dissident, and joins a secret organization that claims to fight the party. However, he soon discovers that nothing is what it seems, and that he is in grave danger of being caught and tortured by the thought police. The novel explores the themes of totalitarianism, surveillance, propaganda, and resistance, with a powerful and bleak vision of the future. 1984 is one of the most influential and important novels of the 20th century and a classic of the dystopian genre. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this list of 10 books that are the best of all time. If you have read any of these books, let me know what you think of them in the comments below. If you haven't read them yet, I hope you will give them a try and discover their amazing stories and messages. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more book recommendations. See you next time. Bye.